Welcome to RC Industry. What are you doing? Are you here to help today? Hmm? Are you here to help? All right, well, it's Rick here. So, um, wanted to kind of get you caught up with the next thing going on here. So, we got the, uh, well, I think the last video we busted up the tub and got it out of here. And of course, we had to repair the, I had to take out some of the old floor that was rotted. We put in a new subfloor, and then I put this piece of three quarter. Uh, plywood down to so it would match the height of this we talked about that in the last video so it all stays the same and then uh, the next step on this once we get the tub set is we'll put the quarter inch concrete board over it or we may use this other product over here this stuff here both of it works real well so haven't decided exactly but it will uh, waterproof it anyway, which whatever product we use, because we're going to put floor tile on this as well, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. But but I wanted to talk about um, the old faucet and stuff, which was what was leaking, and it had leaked in the wall and ruined all this. So we had to reframe some of this. We tore out the bad stuff, reframed it, and uh, we're going to. I'm going to show you how to put together the faucet set, how to install it, and then uh, I've already drilled. I've got everything kind of ready. I drilled the hole here because this is where the riser goes up, and then we'll mount the uh, receiver here so that the shower pipe can be screwed into that. Uh, I went ahead and cut in here so I could put in a back uh, a board. They didn't have that in there at all. All they had was the pipe shoved through. I'll actually we'll show you. Over here in the closet, they had taken the uh, pipe and just ran it up on the outside of the wall, up here past where the clothes hanger, clothes rods at, and they just turned it and went in the pot in the hole. So I don't want to do that. Oh, there's Fred. You are listening to Network. What's Fred doing, Gunner? Hmm? Anyway, back to this. So I'm going to run it up inside the wall cavity like it should be, and we'll mount it here. And uh, so I'm going to kind of show you how I do all that stuff, and uh, then we'll go from there. All right, show you more. Okay. What we got here is the shower mechanism, uh, diverter valve, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so what we're going to do, it comes, this is when you buy the kit or when you buy the new shower piece, it actually comes with this is what you get. So you don't have anything going up to the shower and you don't have anything coming down and going out to the tub. So you just get the, the valves and you get the, uh, the the pipe that comes out of the wall at the top and the shower head <clears throat> and you get the handles of course and then you of course you get you get this piece which is where the water comes out for the tub so now what you don't get is are all these pieces uh, this stuff here because you have to have the pipe piped down and out to the pieces and then up here we're going to there's a lot of times I'll run a hard pipe if I have the if I don't have the wall in the way but since I do the walls in the way and I don't want to tear it all out so I'm gonna put this half inch adapter on here to PEX and then we're gonna go from PEX here up to this other piece right here and then we'll put a 
put this piece up in the up tall to put the shower head pipe on. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to how I put all this together because you can't obviously just put it like this; it'll leak. So so uh, I'll show you that. Okay. Well, we'll get some work done here on this. Camera's been acting up a little bit today, so hopefully uh, it'll keep working. Guess I've about worn it out. It's getting about as old as I am, so. All right. Not really, but. Well. So we got all these pieces, like I talked about. And what I like to do, and a lot of people don't like. Um, this type tape, this gray tape, I don't find an issue with it at all. I've got some of the white, the white tape. The white uh, Teflon tape is getting harder to find, at least around here for whatever reason. But I don't mind using this. I haven't had any issues with it, so this is what we're going to use today. So, so I'm going to take this on here. Oops, pulled a little too tight. You want to pull it tight because you want it to go down in the the grooves of the threads here. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. And then I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so we got that one. So let's get this one taken apart. Now we talked about the other. If you remember in the previous video where I was talking about the tub was all rusty, the reason was is they didn't use whoever had put that spout or the adapter for the for the uh, tub spout in. They never they used uh, cast iron or uh, black iron pipe. And so it tends to rust, and then when you turn it on, it, you get a little blast of rust water, and then it runs clear. This galvanized joint, and then this is a brass piece, and this is a brass one that's chromed uh, that I had left over from another job, so it really doesn't matter. It's not going to be seen. But uh, I did have to purchase this, but I had these two pieces. So, so we should be free of rust anyway that way. So, so, so we want to get these coated and I know this is probably kind of boring if you've done this before but um, some folks uh, may never may never have done this so you might want to know how you know um, we're not born knowing how to do things um, not all things um, so um, Sometimes you have to be taught. So. All right, so. Okay. I'm going to take my jacket off. It's warm in here. This has been the craziest winter. I mean, it's like 49 degrees outside right now. And uh, they're talking about thunderstorms late tonight, early tomorrow. And if that's the case, um, they said the weather's... We're probably going to get up into the... Uh, into the 60s. So that is really crazy for January. So... Anyway. But now, here's the second time, it's the same message. God's desire for Nineveh to hear it has not changed. His person to make the announcement has not changed. It's still you, Jonah. You're still my spouse. Failure though you have been, I give you the second chance to speak for me and deliver what I will give you. And I think that's worth noting here in this second verse. Deliver the message I have given you. Okay. Now on this, uh, 
this control valve, it's got the words up on it someplace. Yeah, right here. So this is up. So that tells us this goes to the shower, this goes to the faucet. So, so let's start screwing pieces back on here. His message is to be proclaimed. It is not mine. It is not ours. It's interesting what God does not do. He does not tell Jonah what's going to happen as a result of his proclamation. How gracious of God not to tell him. Because I think Jonah was thinking they are going to be destroyed. Hot dog. That's what I want. As we talked about Jonah the racist. He despises the Ninevites. He hates what okay. they're doing. He wants nothing but their destruction. So when he hears the message is the same, he thinks, I'll do And you want these pretty tight. Um, God doesn't tell him. What is going to happen? You can tell when you get it tight enough. Uh, when you start to bend this, it's tight enough. Trust me. Uh, accidentally have done that before. So don't really want to get it that quite that tight. But. You carry the message. I'll take it from there. Reminds me of a backup. One of the minor prophets that we, we we rarely read. If you read about if you're not very far into the account before, you read two questions. Stand out. Uh, I have been circled in my Bible. The first question is, how long? Because Habakkuk is living in perilous times. The people around him are And you also don't want to split that brass because um, you can over tighten it, but it's probably not going to. Okay. Let's see if we can go one more round with this. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to hear it. The Lord says to him, if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. And, uh, Trying to get that to line up with the uh, diverter uh, valve. Tell me. Is that all right? Okay. I'm bringing in the Babylonians, and they are going to wipe you folks out. And Habakkuk uh, goes, I can't believe it. He finds out. And, and they actually make a tool to tighten these up with that doesn't scratch this but it's never going to be seen so I'm sure my buddy Ted has got one he's got every tool I ever made so okay so we got the uh, cold water coming in hot water coming in and then this control valve will either send it to the tub or it'll send it up to the shower so and I'll show you how to get it installed. All right. Okay. I don't know what's going on with this camera, but this may work and it may not film this. I don't know. So what I'm going to do, this fits up in here like this, and we've got to attach this to that. And then we're going to nail this up with these um, straps for the X, X straps. They work real well for this. So, that being said, I messed up a piece here. I gotta straighten this out a little bit. And uh, to make uh, this PEX, I've talked about it before, we make it in all kinds of colors. I just have to have a bunch of this white that my buddy Ted gave me. So that's what we're going to use. Normally when I buy it, I buy red and, and blue so I can easily tell what uh, which pipe is which that I run. And uh, those of you that watched I think episode 14, you probably saw that I 
used uh, that uh, colored PEX in that. So anyway, so I'm going to thread this through here and slide that collar up on there. Those collars are made of a soft brass. Well, somewhat soft until you try to cut one of them off. And then we're going to take our crimping tool, put this on here. Okay. And then I want to use my gauge. This gauge has a go, no go. So if it doesn't go, that means you haven't crimped it. So we're good to go there. Okay. There we go. All right. So we're gonna slip that up in there like that. And we're gonna take our strap and we're gonna nail this up in here. talk about is the distance here but I've already measured my distance and I know that by the time I put my half inch drywall over this and then the half inch curdy board and the tile that puts me to about an inch and a quarter or so past this little uh, whatever that's considered so I know that that is going to get me out far enough then then I can screw everything on and it'll be tight against the wall so anyway it's not rocket science okay all right that's what we want okay now i went ahead and cut some little pieces here of PEX because we've got to run from here down into the basement area where we ran the other lines over to it and we've just got them kind of capped off so we will put our collar on here put this up on there and we'll check our Use our gauge. Yeah, so we should be able to go there. Don't be afraid to do this stuff at home. You know, you can pay, you know, a plumber $60 an hour to come out here and do this if you want to, or whatever the going rate is in your community. It's a little snug, so I'm going to hit that one again. Yeah, now it's better. All right. Now, let's go up here on the top part, and I'll show you what I'm doing up here. Okay. So, we're going to take our collar. We got our pipes that get up here. I'm going to put that down over there. And this is that end that I told you about. And you can see it's got screws to screw it into the wood, which we installed into the. There, let's get that on there. Hmm. Oh, 
Just using the wrong side. There, that way looks good. Okay. Let's get us some screws here and the screw gun. See, it doesn't matter that this isn't straight up and down because the pipe is flexible. So it just so happens that the pipe is kind of trailing like this. And you can see that's why it comes like that there. So, so that'll be fine. Now, um, first we got to put some drywall back over this. And uh, we're actually going to... Uh, this is the same thing we used like upstairs. So I'm going to screw this in here because we don't want any dirt or, you know, drywall dust or anything getting down inside this pipe because then it could clog up the low flow shower head. Because I am using the low flow shower head. I mean, I don't intentionally want to waste water. So uh, we've talked about water usage before, but uh, okay. So let's uh, get set up in the basement and I'll show you how to make these connections down here. All right, show you more. Okay, so we know this one goes to our hot side of our faucet, and we want it to be about right there. That one off. And this one is for the cold side, and because we're going to put a 90 in here, is what we're going to do. And I, I shut the water off to the house. And I've got it draining over there, the pressure draining off of it over there by the dryer. Or I mean, where the washer and dryer hookup is. So we're going to cut this, but when we do, it's probably going to spray some water out. So anyway, let's see what happens. Yep. Did that get you, Gunner? I think, I think Gunner got away. Ah. Okay, so <laughs> you got a little bit wet, didn't you, Gunner? Hmm? Alright, so we're going to take our half inch, half inch elbows, PEX brand stuff here, Apollo PEX, or whatever that stuff is called. We're going to have a couple of those. started doing this we soldered everything around copper everywhere and I still think that yeah, there's nothing wrong with that I have copper lines all through my house but this is so much easier you can run this stuff like Romex wire I mean it's just so much easier and uh, I agree the first generation PEC stuff wasn't much count but this stuff here this works pretty good so I haven't had any problems with it. Okay. Let's get the hot one hooked up. Okay. Probably 
should have hooked that up before I actually did that. These will move a little. And I usually like to hook them up before I crimp them. Probably standing right in the way, you probably can't see what I'm doing at all. Alright, let's check that with our gauge and make sure that we're good to go everywhere. You know what, that one's a little snug. I think I'll get that one again. get a bucket and we'll go upstairs and test it. Okay, back upstairs here. So let's see what we got. So I'm going to hold this bucket here. So this should be the cold side. Yeah. And this should be the hot. Run a little more of this, just make sure we got all the air out of it. Okay. I think we're good to go. Alright. What do you think, Gunner? Hmm? What do you think? Do you think you can do it? Hmm? Yeah, Gunner's my big help. Yeah, okay. Well, listen, folks, don't be afraid to take on projects like this. All right, Fred, are you getting ready to do some painting? Just one year, the Jacksonville Jaguars... That's what it looks like. Holding some... They will start the search immediately. Holding some paint tray liners. Anyway, all right, Rick here. Run to Lula, run! Hi, baby!